Okay, I'm in uh, Amundford, up in uh, Betus, Amundford. Uh, I'll show you the road now. Right up in Betus here, look, and this road goes all the way up to the Black Mountain. It's, this is top of Betus in Amundford. And I'm filming this to show you where Tracy first lived when she had Joseph. And this is the house that she lived in. Of course, she had a degree in university in Manchester. And a boyfriend was up there in Manchester and uh, she was in a relationship. And when she had the degree, she had the job here then in uh, in Kinechi first she started and uh, came back to Livia and uh, by then had uh, Joseph but of course Joseph's father stayed in Manchester he didn't want to come back to he didn't want Tracy to come back to uh, to live in Wales he wanted her to stay up there but she didn't want to stay up there away from her family and friends of course and she's Welsh isn't she so anyway uh, she had Joseph lived with the mother for a while and then rented this house out and I often now and then now and again when I got nothing else to do I like to look back because we tend to look forward when we're young and when we're old we tend to like to look back and I like to go on here on Google map and look at this house because I spent many hours in this house looking after Joseph for Tracy to work I used to come up in the morning and she used to go to work and I'd be all day with him and uh, when he started walking then I would say from the age from the age of three on, he, he was walking everywhere. And I used to take him for walks along here. And this brings my, me back a lot of happy memories. I think the, the funny thing is, right, I got four children and nine grandchildren. But it's Joseph, well, the, the other three, you know, they... they they pouted with me at a young age, you know, they, they, they seemed to uh, uh, take sides with their mothers when I split up with their mothers and didn't bother with me, you know what I mean? And I don't know if their mothers were poisoning them or what, but uh, anyway, it suited me because Tracy, uh, you know, I thought the world of Tracy, I thought the world of them all, but I was very close, much more close to Tracy. And... Uh, and she did more or less push the rest away. They were all jealous of her. But I treated them all the same. And when she had Joseph, I was spending a lot of time looking after Joseph. And I got more attached to Joseph than any of my children and grandchildren. And we used to walk along here and there was horses here. We used to love coming to see the horses here. And we used to go all the way down that way then to Tesco. I used to take him down Tesco for for breakfast. And uh, I'm back here then. There used to be... Uh, I can't see the tractor. There, there was an old tractor in here. I used to take him on, in there and sit on the tractor. And we'd walk from here all the way down. And it, it's, it's a long walk, you know, but Joseph... Uh, Walked miles from the age of three on. He used to walk miles, and and he was so funny. He was such a funny kid. Up up until the age of eleven, twelve, when he started becoming a teenager, he got he got a bit cheeky then, and he wasn't so much fun then. Although I, you know, I still enjoyed looking after him. And by then, I was taking him swimming. You know, he was swimming for Armford swimming for Glenarman, Glenarman, Glenarman Leisure Centre. I used to take him down here to Tesco. I used to walk, and this was a hell of a walk, and he, he was able to 
walk up here with no problem at all. And, uh, and it was funny, we, we used to come up here, we used to, have, used to have breakfast in Tesco, we're going here now, because there was horses in here, and we used to go in and see the horses in there. Yeah, I like to go on here now and again and have a look at uh, go down memory lane. I, I call this. It's, it's like going down memory lane. Spent many, many days and hours looking after those. And the funny thing is, if I'd been able to see the other grandchildren, I wouldn't have had time to see them. I was with Joseph all the time, but I would have obviously fitted them in. You know, I wanted to see them all. But it was Joseph I was spending a lot of time with him, and of course spoiling him, spending a lot of money on him. Of course Tracy over the years then uh, she had promotion and became a manager in Swansea. Now she's a manager over Commandershire. Of course I can't say what her job is, she's got a very important job. Can't go ahead a bit, you know, but they were. I'm proud of her. When we come down here now, there used to be a park here to take Joseph to. The park is in here. Take him on the way to, to Tesco in the park here. And then he'd enjoy coming to the park on the way back. And this was one hell of a walk. I'll never forget, um, he was about four, we were walking along here and he had a Mickey Mouse umbrella and it was a windy, rainy day and the umbrella blew out of his hand and went right across the road here and oh, he was screaming the place and the cars were coming here and all the cars stopped. I got to give it to the drivers, you know, they all stopped and one of them got out, you know, and picked the umbrella up and gave it to Joseph. He was up. Absolutely over the moon about that, but I, I couldn't believe all the cars stopped there because I, I thought that was it now They were all going to drive over his Mickey Mouse umbrella, but they stopped All right, I'll show you a shortcut here we used to do The shortcut here also going up to where Tracy lived and it goes through a farm and fields and it's such a beautiful walk We used to often do that shortcut on a, on a dry day because when it was wet, it was too, uh, too wet to walk. But we spent many, many hours walking there. Yeah, well, of course, Google Map won't take me up there now because, uh, although I, if you go on Google Earth, and I do that sometimes, you can see the path on Google Earth. I'm focusing on it. And we're going down, you know, I'm showing you the Google Map now, going downhill. Can imagine walking uphill, but Joseph used to love it. He, he never, never complained walking even in the rain. You see the shop here now, it's closed, you see. It's closed, but if I take you back a bit, which I do sometimes, now it's open. Because Joseph loved calling in this shop on the way up. Or on the way down now, and I'm getting some sweets. But sadly, it's closed now. And we are then. Uh, I better concentrate on the mobile. But yeah, there was a pond, pond beer full of fish. And I used to pick him up on the wall here yeah, and I used to love watching the fish. And I'll never forget, as he got older and bigger and heavier, I'll never forget not able to pick him up on the wall. He was on in age then. He must have been about, because you know, Joseph is six foot three, six foot four now. He's only 17, although he's 18 before long. When he was about 10, 11, he was a big boy. Yeah, these are happy memories now, especially now lockdown. I'm not able to go to Armourford. And uh, I like to go on Google Map. 
when he coming up to a park here, it's another place used to take him, Armford Park. I used to walk a lot there. I used to walk miles with Joseph. You know, I used to spend days and days with him and walk miles and take him swimming. I spent more time with Joseph than all my other children together. And I could say grandchildren because I don't see them well. I didn't see the rest. Although I'm starting to see Brandon, I was 10. But he's 10 now. He's coming to an age or he's coming to a teenager. I've missed uh, Brandon's best years, you know, when he was four, five and six, you know, because uh, that's the best time I enjoyed with Joseph when he was very young. And he was so funny. I remember one day he was bucketed down the rain and we went under a tree uh, and uh, he could see the sun shining in the distance and he said to me, look, he said, the key, he said, the sun is shining over there and it's raining here. Yeah, well, yeah, that's over there. Well, can't we go over there? And he said, well, the sun is shining here. You know, it was so funny. He used to come out to things like that. And of course, we got the river here. Yeah. Spend a lot of time looking at this river with him. Yeah, Armaford is such a beautiful place, and I love going. Even though you know, even though Joseph is seventeen now, going on eighteen, well, it'll be eighteen in July. I still like to go up and see him and, and Tracy. You know, what I mean, he doesn't walk with me anymore. He spends his time now in his bedroom on his. Uh, on, on his iPhone and chatting with his friends and things, you know. And when he does go out, he goes out to his friends. But I still love going to Armford. I wouldn't live there. But, uh, and this is why I want a bungalow in Drivach, so I can be near Armford. Because I find it hard to drive from here now to Armford. It's a bit too far for me. It really tires me out. So if I'm in Drivach, I can go to Armford more often. But I used to love walking with him across this bridge and looking at this river. And of course, there's a path all the way on the side of this river going down to Tesco, you see, where I used to take uh, Joseph for breakfast. Every morning, take him for breakfast. And yeah, he was a typical kid, wanted to go and have a poo, you know. And of course, uh, I had to help him out there when he was age three and four, you know what I mean? But uh, I enjoyed looking after him. He was such a cute, happy kid, and now grown up look. So now I look back, you know, and uh, show you where Tesco is now. It's right down here. I've gone over there. Gone over too far now. See, the path is on the side, down the side of the river, see? See the path there? Yeah? See the river? You can see the river there in the path. And there was always ducks and things getting up from there. Joseph was he really interested into wildlife. He loved watching programs of wildlife, loved watching the... Of course, he, he grew well to that when he got older. So this is Tesco, we're just taking for breakfast. Take him beyond. This is the old Tesco, you see, they're building the new Tesco in Amford there. I'm going back now when I used to take him to the old Tesco when he was four, three, four, five. And we used to come by here then, and there was uh, this over the river then. We used to go and stand here and look at the river and again, look at the ducks and sometimes see fish. And he, he was into everything, you know, he was such a, a good kid. And I really had some great times with him, you know. And of course, you can't take your money with you, but you can take your memories. And that's one memory I'll be taking with me. Memories of Joseph. Of course, when he uh, became 11, 12, then he became cheeky, you know. And, uh, he found an answer to everything and all that. But back in the days, from, from I'd say from the age of three till the age of ten, seven years old, Seven brilliant years looking after him. Absolutely brilliant. Okay.